Hey DPS third graders, it's Miss Gante, and you already know what time it is. It's time to use your brains and become scientists. So, what are we going to do today as we start to wrap up our heat unit? Well, I got a surprise for you guys today. We are going to be making a solar oven. <coughs> and you might be thinking, solar oven? Miss Gante, what's that? So, what we're going to use is we're gonna use the solar energy that we have naturally, so our sunlight, and we are going to harness that energy and we are going to create an oven. Now, what are some things that you cook with in, an, in the oven? So you might say different foods that are in the oven, such as casseroles or cakes. Well, I'm thinking we need to start somewhere pretty easy. <laughs> So, first off, why do we need a solar oven? So let's talk about why we need a solar oven. A solar oven can be useful, or one way that I am thinking of right now is we can use it for camping. So if you're out camping, you can create a solar oven so that you can warm up some of your food. Now we have a beautiful day outside. It is 81 degrees. This is prime weather for making our solar ovens. So first, let's go over what materials we're gonna be needing. Oh, and I need to get my lab coat. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. All right, so now I am in my lab coat. I am ready to think. Are you ready to think like scientists? Let's get started. All right, let's review our materials. Normally, I would take it to my workstation, but I'm bringing my workstation here. So the first thing that we have is our pizza box. Now, if you notice, this pizza box, it's not... Folded. But what we're going to do first is we're going to fold on the crease, but we'll do that after I show you the rest of the materials. So you should have one pizza box. The next material that you should have is a sheet of black construction paper. The next material that you're going to have is a sheet of foil paper. And for this, we might need two. So I would keep two just in case. Then, and this is the best part, I think using some context clues, you're going to be able to figure out what I'm making in my solar oven. Some graham crackers, some marshmallows, and some chocolate. What do you think I'm going to make? Now, boys and girls, if you said that I'm about to make an old-fashioned s'mores, then you're exactly right. I'm going to make a s'more in my solar oven. So once again, you're going to need your pizza box, your black construction paper, your foil, and of course, all the yummy goodies. Now you might be asking yourself, Miss Gante, what does a solar oven have to do with heat? And what does it have to do with science? I can tell you. So what we are doing right now, boys and girls, is that we are planning and we are carrying out an investigation. So what we are doing right now is we're going to see how our solar oven is going to work. So you, depending on how we build this solar oven, is going to tell us if our chocolate and our marshmallows are going to melt properly. So what we're doing right now is we're creating a tool, sort of like the week before where we created a thermometer. Now we are creating a solar oven. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that we have to do is we have to fold this box. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold it on these creases. So wherever you see these dotted, it's a kind of like a dotted line, and you can really see it on the other side. You're going to fold. So what we're going to do first is we're going to fold our pizza box. We don't have to be chefs, but we do have to be scientists. Some might argue that there is a good bit of science in cooking. All right, so by now we have our pizza box folded. Look at that. Not perfect, but I think this, I think we can manage. All right, so now, this is the part where you might need an adult to help you. 
So what we're going to do first is we're going to measure out and we're going to cut a small hole in the top of our box. So I'm using a meter stick, but boys and girls, use a ruler, use a ruler. So what you're going to do is I'm measuring. Let's see. I say our hole should be about, let's make it a six by six. So let me grab a pencil so I can draw this out. So here I'm just measuring and remember I said a six by six and we want to make sure that we get it in the middle, in the middle of the pizza box. So here I am measuring. I want to make it as straight as I can. And I'm measuring six. So there's my first line. And then I want to do another six. And then I'm going to finish this off off camera. All right, boys and girls, so this is what it should look like. I know mine's a little off center, but it's okay. Scientists don't have to be perfect. So your box, you want your square to look like this. Now, the next part is you're going to have to cut this part out. Now, you can do this with the help of an adult. And let me tell you how you have to cut it out. You are only going to cut this line, the lines that are going vertical, and then you're cutting out the bottom horizontal line. Do not cut all four lines. Otherwise, you're going to have a big gaping hole. All right? So only cut off this. We want it to kind of look like a trap door. So I will continue this off camera. All right, boys and girls, this is the final reveal. It should look like this. So make sure yours looks like this. It should only be cut at these lines. So it should still kind of open, kind of like a miniature pizza box on a pizza box. All right, so now what's the next part? Well, we are going to get our foil and we go, are going to outline the top. So, look at that and now let me put the box so now look at that and it doesn't have to be perfect but you're going to use about one sheet of foil and you should have it outlined so now you might be asking well what are we supposed to do with the black construction paper i'm going to tell you what we're going to do is we're going to open up our pizza box and we're going to line the inside with black construction paper like now, if you remember from earlier experiments, black is a great absorbent of sunlight and it absorbs heat. So what this is essentially going to help us is trap that, sun, that heat from the sunlight because we know the sun gives heat. So what we're going to do is we're going to trap that sunlight and convert it into solar energy. And we're going to be using this black paper to help make our s'more. All right. So another material that you're going to see is this plastic bag. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut alongside the ends of the plastic bag. And you just need one little snip of your scissors to cut it. And you're going to kind of turn it into this sheet of plastic. Now let me tell you what this sheet is going to do. After we create our s'more and we close our oven, we are going to put this sheet of plastic around our pizza box. Now what is that going to do, boys and girls? It is going to essentially act like a layer of the atmosphere. And what we're doing is we're trapping in that solar energy just so that we can get a yummy, gooey, melty s'more. All right, so now, Let's get started building this more. All right, boys and girls, so I'm bringing you in closer so that we can see the materials that we're going to need for our s'more. So we have our graham crackers, we have our chocolate, and then we have our marshmallow. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. You can add as much chocolate as you want. After all, it's in the name of science. So I am opening my chocolate bar. 
And as you can see, it's such a warm day outside, it's kind of already melted. So, but now it's hard. So here we go. I'm going to break my graham cracker and you only need one. So I'm gonna break my graham cracker in half. Mm. So now that's two parts of the whole graham cracker. Gotta throw some math in there. All right, so now, um, I want to do this part on the outside. So I'm gonna put it like there. So I'm gonna put it like that. And let's see, how much chocolate do I want? I'm gonna add three pieces or three bars of my Hershey's chocolate. And then I have my marshmallow. Now, boys and girls, this is optional. You can add another layer of chocolate on top to kind of make it a little sandwich. Or you can put the marshmallow and then the chocolate. Have fun with it. After all, you're a scientist. This is an investigation. All right, so this is what mine is going to look like. So take a quick note of what it looks like be before it spends some time in the solar oven. So now, let's put it in the solar oven. I'm ready. We're gonna open up our door. And if you did it correctly, you should see the black that's on the inside. And we are going to put it like so. Ah! All right, I'm gonna have to bring the camera up because if I bring my s'more up, it's going to fall. So let me bring the camera. All right, so there's my s'more. And now, it's still 81 degrees outside, it's hot. Let's close this puppy up. And all you have to do is press on it and it should stay. Let's close it up and let's head outside. Now boys and girls, it is a beautiful sunny day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here on my driveway. So now, like any normal scientist, we have to wait and observe our results. So right now, I am waiting with my solar I'm oven. Waiting, but so far, it's only been about two minutes. Two minutes and I'm already hot outside. So, right now, we just have to wait. And All right, boys and girls, five minutes has passed and I have been outdoors enjoying the sun. So, let's just take a little peek and if we see that it's still not done, let's leave it for 10 minutes. Let's just go up in increments of five. All right, boys and girls, so I just opened it up and I saw that my chocolate is starting to melt. My marshmallow is starting to melt, but my cracker fell off. So I'm just going to squeeze it back and I'm going to leave it here for another 10 minutes. Okay, I think you're gonna be really happy with these results. So let's take it inside. All right, I just came in, just brought it in. And if you feel it, the box feels warm. So I'm gonna take my plastic off and you choose if you wanna open it from the small door or the big door. I'm just gonna go the easy way. So look at that. Look at that. You can see that the chocolate has melted and on to the piece of construction paper. So if I take it out, oh, look at that. It is all melted. So now boys and girls, I'd like to consider this a success. So you choose what you wanna do next, but I'm gonna dive right in. One of my materials that I should have mentioned earlier is a napkin. All right, so I want you to think about how that happened. How did it work? I talked about it throughout the video, but now you're gonna answer some questions. So now I want you to think about this following journal prompt. What is the sun's heat capable of? Well, I can give you one example. It can heat up a s'more real nice. So I want you to think about that as you finish this experiment. And I hope that your s'more and your solar oven came out just as nice. So now, and keep in mind, you can always change this paper and do it again. Show your family. So I will see you on the next one.